and this has been released recently in October 2020. Thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe to GOXC for their amazing work and their amazing anime, <laughs> for their amazing show that they graced the internet with. And this is the one of the shows that I would like to go on TV and watch reruns and reruns of it. And do your best to support their channel. They have a Patreon. Go to GOXC and just basically support them in every... You know what? Sorry, I'm happy, but I I am being pissed off for a few seconds. All right, I'm gonna say, support GOXC as much as you can. Do whatever you can for their amazing work. And I wanna punch holes in your freaking tires to shut you freakers up. These guys have no time or day. No matter how long I wait, there's an asshole on a motorcycle. It's either someone ask it's either someone uh ordering for food panda or anything else in deliveries and whatever it is, I don't know, and I don't give a damn. The recording is being ruined by their stupid, obnoxious noise. At least you're seeing a different side of me today. But still, I hope I, di I digress. Let's get back to the video. This is Gwen Saga 008. And for the lack of last episode, I realized I did not say the episode name. I'm sorry. But link in the description below at the original video. Go to their freaking channel and sub to them. Support G oh, XC for the amazing content they they upload and I hope that there's more coming and this is 2020 and we're at 2021 I hope that they release something please 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 release something in 2021 you released something in 2020 and that was the most uh, hard year of our lives 2021 is slightly gotten better because of the vaccines and changes in policy. <sighs> I digress. Skip to 3 minutes and 10 seconds of the video to start the... To start the reaction before I get so freaking angry. I'm sorry. Make that 3 minutes and 25 seconds. To start the reaction, I'm slightly getting angry. Let's have some laughs. But with a serious intro like this, I might be inclined to not laugh. So, is this the original? No, she's not human. Her eyes are not black. Escalated. Now I am reminded by Castlevania. If I remember my gamings correct. And she is pissed. Oh crap, she's unarmed and she's kicking your asses. Woo! I cannot fault them for repetitiveness, that was cool! Oh no, mortal enemy of Gwen? It really does remind me of Castlevania. It really can be a game. Sound effect from Contra, I think. Uh-oh. Is that going? Well, I am. <laughs> no. So, 
Stupid notifications, shut up! Hope you guys enjoy. There's a few parts that I missed because I was just so amazed by the freaking thing. Uh, I'll I'll just replay it a few bit. Amazing transitions. You guys got a budget increase uh, by <laughs> quoted from Devil Optimus. Budget increase. You know the power. Now you know. Budget increase is important. So basically, it's Geo and Ami. What? Is that a drink? Oh no. So that woman it was involved with the daughter. Oh my god. The plot thickens! <laughs> the statue moved! Tickets to a movie? To a concert? So absent minded. <laughs> so uncouth for a queen. <laughs> Oh, Rapunzel, look down your golden hair. That's what the tower reminds me of. Nice texture on the meat. Oh, she has a cast on? Right. Oh, Luna. That's bad. You broke her leg. Oh, the new UI is nice. Animal Crossing. Oh, come back. It's really fun. How's my life? She really has it bad. I'm being re 
introduced to anime. Ah! I know I stopped. I know I stopped. I'm not that much of a weeb. But I'm not too much of a weeb that I need a body pillow. I'm sorry, Nogla. I'm sorry, Nogla. <laughs> I had to make the joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's so I've been watching other uh, either Russian Badgers or Star Wars or freaking Soviet Wombles Counter Strikes, and I forgot the feeling of watching this. I know, I know, I'm not overreacting. This is how I am. It's been a while since I've been behaving like this. It's been a while since I've been something to be so ecstatic about. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're, you're bringing up my memories of when I f was first introduced to anime in the 19, in 1998. That was as early as I was when I watched it. Dragon Ball was the first and then it slowly devolved into <gasps> panty flesh and, <laughs> and those situations. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for rambling on. I am old. I am old. But I accept it. <sighs> Alright, back to it. Well. Alright, time to go. I think they're waiting. Waiting for him. Huh? You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Wheelchair to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting a beach scene. You know what? You know what's gonna be happening, guys. Oh no! She really is love stricken. Oh my gosh. Now she has text. It's someone else. It's someone else. <laughs> I knew it. I called it. Deva, is she jealous? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Is there a level to swimsuits? Wait a minute, I saw something in the background. I think it... That character looks like an OC from DeviantArt. I've seen that hairstyle before. Don't know where. But this is nice. Instead of doing shadow characters, I'm sorry, I'm not bashing Rooster Teeth or Ruby. Their their background characters are shrouded in black, which is so awkward to see. I know it's hard to do models and rendering them. That's why sometimes I believe that it, there's a lot more flexibility, although it makes life easier for 3D models to move them. Rather than raw hand hand drawing the movements yourself, but still, I have a certain appreciation over 2D art versus 3D art, which is now one of the hit pop things today. The one thing with 3D art, it takes a long time to do the sculpture, the model itself. 
then moving it would be somewhat of a tedious task to remember the mappings and areas but it's a lot more easier than drawing page by page but the difference in the refinement of movement and the creativity you can do with drawing because you can just pop another idea and just add it into the animation it's just it's just that all you have to do is just change a few pages i tried it before and really it's much more it's much more nice to see it's visually more appealing that is all Oh, Deva. <laughs> why? Oh, why? Okay, this one is a much more practical sw uh, diving suit. <laughs> Poor Marlo. <laughs> Let's rock. You just had to do that. Oh, jeez. At least she's getting out of her shell. At least she's no longer the shy girl in the background just minding her own business. <laughs> character development. What? The moment that focused on her episode showed character development. More better than other animation things. Or just stick to the linear path. Uh, shutting up right now. Sorry. And Geo looks like a freaking tank wearing that suit. You know what? It's a game. Just make it a game. And people will buy it. This is an RPG game. Super Saiyan. Now there we go. Being clueless? <gasps> oh, the typical uh, girl that's being harassed by the hoodlums, the delinquents. <laughs> and the stereotypical gangster hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, this really is bringing me back to anime. I love you, GOXC. I love you guys. This gets a like, you know. Keep on liking, guys. Keep on liking. And boom! to the 746 idiots that dislike this you guys just live to make others miserable you have n this is my goal i am a disliker it is my life's goal to dislike everything that i see because i stink Oh, uh, Geo. One. <laughs> okay, okay. There's a lot of things happening, and I'm becoming much more slow. Challenge to an arm wrestling. And then the background. Stare down. <laughs> Devil using Agni's hair as a fuck. That's a cooking place for popcorn. Oh, come on. <laughs> Lanny. And, of course. Just lose. Just lose. The music in the background. Dio! Ah, uh, Jojo. Am I gonna get a copy right here? Ara ara does it. Ara ara does it. <gasps> you know. 
haunted island. He's down because of the damage. There's no dubs, but it's amazing. Forget it, I'm not saying the name of the tag before. I do it. The guy looked like heavily armored. Is that even for swimming or something? Oh, if I see Luna here, I'm gonna flip. Frick, this should be a game. I would pay how many dollars to play this? Mm. Oh, even Geo's starting something. Uh oh. Pirate girl, bad girl. So that's your dark conscience. Go on. How about the good one? No. Okay. Grab the What the fuck? What did she say? <laughs> Seth Santino Saturno, you <laughs> you absolute bastard! <laughs> you meant for me to watch this, you! <laughs> I'm gonna be the bigger man. I'm gonna be the bigger man. I will not sink myself. I will not... I will not degrade myself. Okay, I'm degrading myself! <laughs> Evil looking has the most reserve idea. Gr uh, hold his hand, and the one who's supposed to depict the good one grab the body. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I'm crying. This one moment, this one moment is, is, has put me into tears. I need something. I need. Oh great, empty. No water. Okay. Time to persevere on. Time to put on my big boy shorts. Oh, too bad. I'm already wearing them. And I'm as immature as a brat. Yeah. Calm down, it's just over. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anything bad is gonna happen? Is Luna gonna interfere? <laughs> you look bummed. I thought. Oh, she's heartbroken. Good girl. <laughs> she's not a dog. And she's not a child. <laughs> oh no, Geo! 
Your life's on the line. Oh no. Okay, is Luna. If I get jump scared, I swear. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't look behind you. I hate scary things. Why did you do this? Find Ami first. Come on. Oh. Oh no. I know it was coming, but come on! I hate those things. And for your information, guys, I will not do a FNAF unless 500 people basically forces me to, to buy it and basically scare me to death. Jump scares are not... The ambience, the creepiness is what disturbs me. And jump scares really just surprises me, but come on! To think of a horror game... To be in an ambient, especially if I try to play FNAF with the lights off and I'm alone in a room, that's just drawing the line. Oh, no. You're gonna put Undertale into this? I recognize Undertale from my classmates. They played the damn thing. My gosh Fusion <laughs> What the heck? Oh boy. Oh gosh. It reminds me of something. I don't oh Run. Where's Geo? Why is there a mattress there? <laughs> that from episode one to this, it's an amazing change. What is that creepy little thing doing there in the first place? Flashlight. I got. Oh, she's got her bow. Question is... Wow, nice! You turned it into another one! What is this? I don't...
Wait a minute, is the fisherman her partner? The one sh who she was supposed to wed? Let's do it. <laughs> nice story. No kiss. <laughs> ah, that's fine. The moments are really amazing. How are you gonna explain this to your mother? Or she's gonna go bananas again. Damn, what a way to end it! Amazing. Card caps. <laughs> Any more to it? Here we go. <gasps> <gasps> She's gonna expose him? Oh no! Okay, that's the end of the series, and let's get some talking into it. That was amazing. The the difference between the first episode to this one is just beyond. I am losing my mind from the from the ama. I can't even think. It's just. Some of the parts are random, but there is a story behind it, and it's just compared to the nonsense that we get on TV. This is better. This should be its own show. It should have its. It, it has its dedicated fan base. Oh my gosh. I'm sub to GUXC. I like their videos. And you remember to like, comment, subscribe, support GUXC and everything they do. You guys know their Patreon also. Go to their channel. And of course, smash that like button. And hit subscribe. And smack that bell. It's just so many things. I've seen so many animators in the freaking internet and some of them are really marginally better than the ones held by the corporation. It really is the difference between if you're driven by a passion and driven by money. There is a clear difference between the two. We know what happened to Ruby. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. It's just... I liked Ruby. Indeed, I liked it from the first ser first chapter. And then when it went... It's just... I grew to like some of the characters. And when it went to the end of Tree, it was sad. What happened? Oh my gosh. It really got to me. And 
I marginally just ended because of that. And when I found out that Monty Ohm died, God bless his soul. I was sad. Is it is Ruby over? But then Volume Four came out. And <laughs> chat, I said chat. Volume Four, Volume One to Three, I watched. When it came to Volume Four and the other animators, where was the dynamic flair? What happened? I know Monty Ohm's gone. He's the one responsible for most of the animations, the fight scenes, the amazingness. It's just the the ch the freaking volume just got more depressing as it wo went on. The volume three was depressing enough with the death of Pira, and then it got worse and worse and worse. I saw some spoilers for chapter 8, and I'm not gonna spoil you, but I'm just gonna say, if you're gonna watch that, prepare the antidepressants, because you're gonna be sad. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> Alright, from a fan's point of view, it really is. I love Monty Ohm and his works, I really do. It's a, He was amazing. One of the finest during his time. And God rest his soul. I hope you're in a better place, Monty. Well, that's it for this series. If there's more to it, I need people to hit me in the comment section. Are there other things related to Geo and the Gwen saga that I should be looking into? Just leave it down in the comments below. Remember, you support them first. And you're here because of me and my stupid behavior. Like, comment, and subscribe to me. If you really want to, it's really up to you. And thank you so much for this long series. Shout out to Seth Santino Saturno for your advisement. It really brought a smile to my face. <laughs> Alright, my fellow brothers, sisters, gamers, and anime lovers. I'll see you again soon on another video. But we have to say goodbye to Gwen, Gwen Saga for now. Though I hope they do more. Thank you very much. I am here, Buster, signing out.